Welcome back, everybody. My name is Ace. This is the Wolves Garage channel, and your watch begins with a cross the obelisk. A tactical roguelike deck building game. Bit of a mouthful. Uh, if you want some comparisons, the games that come to mind are Slay to Spire, although I would argue it is more Gordian Quest. But I can definitely understand the vibes on both sides of that spectrum. So, it's early access has been recently finished as you can see there it's now in its official 1.0 version you can find it on steam if you will like what you'll see although it is not necessarily for the faint of heart i will say so now if you want to start the game you can do so immediately with the adventure mode the obelisk challenge and weekly challenge now you have the challenge that that speaks for itself the obelisk challenge is more like a draft uh, more like a roguelike where everything is kind of more balanced the adventure mode is not necessarily the dissimilar to that but you have a lot more control over the beginning and it's like a set environment you have to move through until you get to the next stage which is also a set environment you have to move through the fights and such may differ uh the events may differ but i mean like the maps you actually move through uh, as you will see uh, are more like narrative based um now you may notice that there's no save game meta progression is saved across runs but the runs are saved in these save files confused me for a second if you want to reset your meta progression you go to settings as you can see but uh, other than that, we'll just do a fresh run in the single player adventure mode. Uh, speaking of single player, there is multiplayer. If you have some friends <laughs> in this economy, if you have friends, you can do so in a multiplayer game uh, as well, where you can control your own characters and hopefully not mess up the tactics of your teammates or pray they don't fall, uh, you know, falter yours in the process. Adventure mode, create new game. Now, I've been playing this game on stream for a few hours and I have not really been able to unlock any new characters. It's quite tricky for me, at least to get new characters unlocked, but there are a bunch. And what I've learned from going into draft is that you can have a whole warrior squad. If you want, you can have a whole squad of scouts or mages or healers. You can make up the setup as long as you have them unlocked. It seems pretty solid in that it does give you the recommendation of this particular position based on the location of the characters you can see recommended class for this position tank in the front dps behind that glass cannon nuke in the back followed by the healer speaks for itself every character is pretty similar in terms of their cards but they have a, a strong difference in starting position most of the starting classes here, Magnus, Andrin, Evelyn, and Reginald, they all have a more balanced approach. It even says so as well. Balanced warrior who excels in both attack and defense. Now, they all have a little bit of a rank bonus, which has a, a little bit of power in there. For example, starting item blue, which uh, is a little bit of power there, as well as the actual levels of the characters themselves. Speaking of which, I have to spend some points. Um... Yeah, let's just make it... Ooh, um, let's just add this. I don't actually know. Hmm. Can't quite hit that yet. I uh, could do this. Not sure why I am not able to click this. Or that. Not sure. But that's okay, though. I could do a buffer. I'll just do some health for now. He is the tank after all. Um, same thing here. Physical. Um, could go with some more melee DPS. With some more range DPS. Let's do some more melee DPS. I like trying to build around the poison attacks. Which are mostly so far either just regular skills or applied with melee. Ooh yeah. The mage is a very lovely lass. Um... I've been trying to get stuff done with the burn, so let's amp that up. And then we, of course, have the healer, which we can then end up... Oh, we cannot do that. I'm still not sure. I have access to this line of 
It's almost like they're, they're trying to block it. That's okay, though. We'll just add... Uh, we'll add some regen. There's a couple of things in the game that can give us regen. You can save builds if you want for each character. If you want to switch between them. Now, all the talent trees are, however, all the same. Everybody has access to the exact same talent tree. As you can see here, we have a musical note on the healer. But if we go to the talent tree of our melee tanky boy, musical note. But there's no restrictions as to where they can spec their points, aside from actually specking the points. So you can get quite versatile and quite creative with that. Now, the only thing that is to note is that those are some skins. Um, another important thing that I was trying to see is like, for example, their trades. Now, each side has its own archetype. Left is more offensive in this case. Right is more defensive. And of course, you also get a... Um, an innate bonus to it as well. Now, the unique thing about this is, is that this could facilitate certain builds. Now, this is a balanced warrior, but I know for a fact that Heiner is more about full-blown tanking and using that tankiness as an offense. It's very reminiscent of the Slate Aspire block build with that warrior character. Grookly is more about applying bleeds and using those bleeds to his advantage. And Bree, the cowgirl... It's more about thorns and taking damage and reflecting some of it back to the enemy. All of which are more fun than the starting character, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so yeah, I do find that so far, with the exception of maybe the healers, that the other characters are, for where I'm standing, massive upgrades. Anyway, point is... Oh, and not to forget, there's also ways to make the game even more difficult because it isn't difficult enough. My point is, you can do quite a bit of meta progression. There's also a story if you're interested in that. We are not. But it gets even better. This is the adventure mode, by the way. If you do the draft mode, it's more streamlined. But in the adventure mode, you have meta progression. You have town upgrades. And quite a bit. I use these um, supplies. I'm currently saving up for currency retention in an attempt to progress the meta progression a little quicker. Um... Last rewards may seem a little weird. You always start with 300-300 at this point. But then when you finish a run or you fail a run, you get a certain amount of gold and a certain amount of crystals based on your stats of that run. Hence the currency retention and whatnot. Which allow you to buff up your starting point right here a little bit better so you can come out of the gate swinging. Now you have fast divination, for example. Which is a... For a little bit of money, you can essentially choose a bunch of cards or shards if you don't find anything good. Um, ooh, an intercept for free is not a terrible thing. Uh, well, intercepts are always free, but this is like an upgraded one. They, each card also has two paths of upgrading. Um, and sometimes they're cheaper, sometimes they're stronger, sometimes there's a whole different bonus effect. So, again, lots of customization. Um, speaking of, I like the shift because poison. I did say I was going to go melee. That's a little unfortunate, but I'm also focused on poison and bleed. Hmm, purge, thorns, apply, poison. It's not a terrible thing. There is a bunch of poison in the game, which is unfortunate. Um, so let's actually take this. I like some AoE. The heat wave is pretty good once you upgrade it, because you can get uh, dispel the waters, apply fires on everybody, which for her is two fires, because we have Spectre into applying more fires. So let's get some heat wave. Oh, well, then again, Flare is also pretty good. Hmm. Let's go with Flare. Let's go hard. Um, I'm okay with this. We already have Holy Smites in this deck, so we'll take the shards. Uh, we'll take the free intercept. Why not? Now, in some of the upgrades here, removing cards in the starting town is free. Starting town. We are in the starting town, which means we can remove our deck. So, or we can remove our deck. We can remove cards from our deck. For example... I'm not a big fan of having too many intercepts. I can remove that. Of course, you need to have a minimal amount of cards, which is 15. But if you get creative with it and add cards or buy cards, you can uh, do quite a bit of work. Let's remove a Frostbolt, because we have that Flare. Reginald is at 15. Andrin is at 16. Uh, go with the Aim Shot. 
Of course, having a small deck is very important as it allows you to draw more cards more efficiently. You can also craft cards with the blue crystals, which is very important. I'm actually looking to do that right here. One of the cards that I want, I don't yet have unlocked. You know what? I'm going to take a risk here. Am I? The common cards available for crafting is by two. Mm, no, I'm not. Because I think it's a rare card that I need. I'm trying to find the uh, the card that allows me to um, do damage based on block. There's also a bunch of equipment. As you can see, there's five slots. Including a pet slot. I like to uh, do the bunny here. Pets have uh, bonus stats, but also a specific bonus effect that they have. In this case, Hurry Up, which I believe is just a speed buff. There's so much in this game. It is quite overwhelming, if I'm uh, going to be honest with you. Which is not a terrible thing by any means. It's just overwhelming. I actually, it's going to try... Oh, no, I just... Mm, I just wasted my money. I was going to go for the spiked bracers, but I'm broke. Because my previous run wasn't all that great. Um... Instead, what I think I will do, because I am trying to go, I am always trying to make that little tank build. So I think I'll just buy, can I buy you upgrade it at this moment in time? Let's find out. Where are you? Uh, 120. Mm. As you can see, you can also find all the upgraded versions. Do I want to get more damage? Or big damage, but also increased cost. Now, let's keep it simple. We'll just do one here. We can only craft one of them, of course, which is unfortunate. I want to get a four to five. I can. There it is. 600. All right. You know what? Balls to the wall. We're going to commit. We're going to use the church to cleanse us from our sins. Because once again, we are going for the block build. We're not going for the bleed build. Although I do think the bleed build might be better. Just because of how aggressive it is in the early game. And, well, you will find out that the game hurts. Now this is the always, if you play in adventure mode, this is just the way it looks in the beginning. But some of these events are always random. And the fight you encounter will be random. Some of these question marks are character events. These are your capacity for starting a particular quest line. Uh, in this case, these will hopefully lead to unlocking of characters although they are not too difficult uh too easy to complete i mean because they require different zones sometimes as well if not always uh suspicious hatch is not a terrible thing i could go through the middle here because i want to get this because that's the um the tank boy the one that i want to unlock the one who starts with all the cards that i desire so let's just start now it is an incredibly beautiful art style i will say that no doubt about that. Um, as you can see, bo bottom here, by the way, energy meter goes up to 10. Energy does persist. You don't lose your energy. Um, unless you try to generate more than you can hold, of course, which is a different thing. So we'll just crank that up. Very lovely. Um, so many stats. Let's do a hunter's mark, which allows them to apply more damage. Slice. There you go. We'll do a little bit of an uproot. End our turn. All right, it's our tanky boy. Get some debuffs going. Uh, shield bash, get rid of that. Um, let's do this. Fortify allows us to maintain our block. Normally, block goes away after a minute uh, or after your turn, but with Fortify, it stays. Sound familiar? Slay the Spire, anyone? Love that build. Intercept allows me to just buff a hero with armor or myself, because I only two am a hero. But they have random shots which we cannot see right now. Their cards are hidden. There are perks, even in the talent tree or cards themselves, that facilitate being able to see what they're going to do. And knowledge is power. If you know what they're going to do, you know how to respond to it, if you can. And that can be very powerful. So much. This game is quite impressive, albeit a little overwhelming in difficulty curve. I'm not sure if that's intended or if I'm just bad at the video game. You ever wonder... If the game is just exceptionally hard, or if you're just bad, it's probably a bit of both, though. Uh, for example, I just misplayed the the turn order of some of those spells and such. Because, you know, I'm so clever. Here, speaking of, there it is. Sight. Apply three sight. So for three turns, I get to see what they do. And there you go. Random hero, deal six, repeat two. So it's going to shoot three times six damage. So we want to make sure we have armor everywhere. 
or a death. We couldn't kill him, so we're just going to buff ourselves with armor here. And the lowest unit here with armor. I think that's fine. What are the chances they hit the same unit multiple times, right? What are the chances? Right? Right? Oh, you tempt fate. You tempt it and it bites you in the ass. Let's get rid of all the expensive ones. Draw the cheap one. Uh, use the cheap one. Expensive one. Now, we are applying bleed and a bunch of debuffs. Certain units, however, will notice that they have immunities. Which, so if you focus on one particular damage type, like let's say bleed, you may find yourself walking into some trouble as you will not be able to stack your bleeds up. That totally did not happen to me at all whatsoever. Never, totally never happened. Very good. So after each battle, you get a screen like this. Certain cards will come at you already upgraded, which is quite a decent value. 12 damage melee attack or 20, sorry. Mm, do I want to apply a slow? Not really. I don't like any of these cards because I want to commit to the block and I'm doing it. It's probably wrong, but you only block once. Flare, another flare. Could do another flare. Get some burst damage there. Mm, upgraded heal doesn't sound too bad. We'll take some shards. All right, very good. Now, as you level up, we will get some interesting traits here. As you can see, we looked at this in the early, early game where we have the left side, for example, Magnus is more uh, offensive based and the right is more defensive based, um, which is interesting. Still a little confused about why I couldn't pick these up uh, at, at some point on uh, certain characters or pick this one up. Not enough points. Maybe they cost more points now that I think about it. Maybe that's it. Yeah, okay. I see now what's happening. Brackets cost one. This one costs three. So the higher the specialization, sometimes the higher the cost. Which is interesting because like this is one cost, one cost, three cost. That is curious. Here also three cost. Okay. That's um, an interesting way of balancing power levels. Now, I did mention that every character starts with a starting item, right? Now, we did buy the bunny. But yeah, if you have a... Each character has its own item. In this case, the wolf slayer. Ranger armor. Now, we have them in blue. They also turn to yellow if they are of high enough rank, which is that meta progression again. They're very simple. They're not really uh, the greatest tools in the arsenal until they're fully upgraded. They become quite decent as starting items. So don't feel too bad if you find a really good replacement for it. But... Be considerate of its potential. One should always be. Ah, an event. The crops are on fire. Will I roll a five or lower, a three or higher, or can I get a cold spell? Hmm. Let's try a cold spell. I've never been able to su successfully roll a cold spell here. And the streak continues. We do love a good streak. Now we have that low self-esteem, unfortunately. Which is regretful. Which means our beginning opening hand for her is a little um, lackluster. But that's okay. We can make it work. Get rid of all those cards. Alright. And these are a little different because they are cooked. They're about to pop. Which makes sense. Considering what they shoot. End our turn. Yep. Fire Ember. Three damage a turn. Alright. We were able to kill one of them in time. Get full block. There you go. Popcorn burst. Doing damage applying. That's very frustrating to deal with. All right. Fire blast is free. So let's do that first. Get the charge battery, which makes a lot of sense because we want to cast spells that are cheap or give us energy so we can use those energies for big nukes once we get them. We're almost there. Popcorn is almost done. Let's get rid of these cards. They're free anyway. Um, oof. I could just do that. Just call it a day. Let's get a heal there. All right. Very lovely. Trailblazer. Hmm. Okay. Let's draw some cards. Let's get the adrenaline going. All right. Um, well, we can apply three dots or an 11 raw damage or just 22 raw 
I'll just apply 22 raw, which kills him. Exactly what we want. What do we get? Ooh, pummel's not bad. It's expensive though, but it's not bad. Let's get a, a hard hitting. Ooh, poison dart. That's one of the ones we want. Unfortunately, once again, a range attack. And we focused on the melee. A little unfortunate. Random zapping. Not a terrible thing. It's free. None of the spells that I want here, so we're just going to take the shards. Ooh. Can I roll a four or higher? I believe. I believe in a four or higher. My faith was not misplaced. Skin of my teeth, but, you know, that's okay. And sometimes you have these items that pop up. We did lose these two, unfortunately. They might have been really good, but we can choose to have gold or just picking up whatever we want. Um... Uh, we don't use cold. At least we're not planning to use cold in the end, right? So max HP and resistance is not a terrible thing. Um, I guess I can use spyglass on him. Why not? Uh, that leaves us with those two items. If you play with fire, you're going to get burned. Does it actually do anything? No? It just gives you an item that doesn't do anything. Well, that doesn't seem very useful, does it? I should have given her uh, this, but it is what it is. Um, let's just take some money then. I actually wonder if that armor does something. If there is something special with it or not. Ooh, and then also this happens. Obelisk corruptions. It's a particular tricky thing because you're going to have to fight. There's no way past it. Um, but you can take the sub-zero debuff and then get a free cart upgrade for each hero or increase the quality so we could do this let's just do a tough fight see if we can get lucky and get some early power that would be very lovely i think um yeah you know what let's rip that out and those two for next turn okay no thorns we'll just do that we can do a full hit. Perfect. He's going to die. Now, the problem is poison, burn, and bleed all have different priorities. Poison, for example, happens after they're done, which means they're not going to die. Plus, these two can heal. It's a whole thing. So I do feel the urge to just smack this just to be safe. Rather than sorry, we're going to block here and hit him with a shield bash and an intercept on our back line right there. Just a little armor, just to protect. We are the tank after all, we have to, we must. Very good. Watering, that, there you go, there's the heal. Very happy I uh, took the precaution to murder. All right. Um, I just apply the two frost balls. Elemental wards, elemental ward here. Still have one energy left that gets carried to the next turn. This is unfortunate, because we don't really have anything here that really speaks to me. Um, so let's just use these cards. You never know. Get a heal. Preserve the energy. For perhaps a better turn. I do want to kill the popcorn here. If I can help it. And helping it, I can. One more energy. There you go. Can I... No, it doesn't look like we can really do a big hit. Protect the mage. There you go. It's also a front hero. Bleed and such will go through armor, so you're not protected if you have a lot of block from all damage, sadly. I'm not sure if there's items in the late game that facilitate this, but... Um... Oh, damn. I have never been paralyzed before. That's new. Cool. Hours of gameplay. Never been paralyzed. And I record and I get frozen. You hate to see it. I actually need to fire it in the back line, I think. No. As you can see, he is going to die, but we don't know if that's going to be... Hmm. I'm just going to kill them. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not risking it. Certainty over chance. I missed my turn due to the paralysis. We hate to see it. Uh, I can grant this to anybody. So let's grant it to uh, our little ranger boy over here. Oh, once again, wrong order. Because this is a card that's based on the cards in your hand. 
but that's okay. Bunch of good zaps. There you go, a little bit of water spray. A little bit of water never killed anyone. We're just going to ignore all the drowned people. There you go. Unfortunately, the rain also gives them the water trait. So if they're burning, it disappears. It also gives them a regeneration. But that's okay, because we hurt them more than that we heal them for. But you can upgrade the rain to make it just affect your party. There's a lot of things like that. I'm surprised with how in-depth this game actually is. I'm really pleasantly surprised. Mm, another intercept. Don't mind if I do, if I can just get the right item. Ooh, do I want to get an upgraded Ember Storm? Yes, please. Dispel Poison Grants Buffer. Hmm. These are not bad. Looks like I should have gone with range. Oh, no, wait. Viper Strike. That's the attack. That's the one we want. Viper Strike. Look at that. Eight damage, four poison. Let's go. Ooh, and we get all the free upgrades, of course, because we did that challenge run. Can I make you not bad? Well, right, there's a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. Uh, barricade wouldn't be too terrible either. Because mm, this buffs all heroes with reinforce. Let's do that. I'd buff, uh, upgrade the barricade right there. Viper strike. We can upgrade the targeting system. Or we can just upgrade the damage. Let's upgrade the targeting right here. Evelyn. We did get Ember Storm. We have upgraded that. Let's get upgrade upgrades on Flare. Mm, no, let's get... Uh, maybe. Mm, do I want more damage? Uh, this is, like, not bad. But, of course, it's... I do need hard-hitting hits. Because once I get upgrades on the Fire Blast, they're going to be quite lovely as well. Because we can apply a Burn, which gets empowered by her Burn Increase. A lot of value for a free card. Plus, we are generating energy with her anyway. So, I should probably just embrace that. Here, all heroes dispel fire grants two regeneration because once again we had that regeneration perk right in uh, the passive tree. So this becomes now an incredible decent AOE heal that also gets rid of all the fire. Very lovely, very lovely. Unfortunately, if you can see the top right of the card, not the top right, sorry, the the mid right, that little fire that means that the card gets uh, vanished. There's a, also a tooltip there, so we have to be wary of that. We can't nilly willy use it. I will probably do it anyway, because I won't forget, but it is what it is. Mm. Five or higher? With the group or one or lower? Considering my deck, I think this is statistically more likely. There you go. Success, success, success. So everybody was able to get into this secret area. Lots of events here. All right. Melee attack card. I have a lot of defensive cards, sadly. Uh, four or lower. I, I have faith. I have been high rolling. Ah, that's a six. That's an unfortunate reality. So the combat is forced. Now we have some piggies we must fry up. So let us do so. Uh, you're next, right? So let's get rid of all the expensive cards we don't need. So we have a good opener right there. Apply the Hunter's Mark for the bonus damage. Can I get another cheap card? No, I cannot. I only have two energy. Or four energy left, so this is more damage. Good Alpha Strike. Mm, let's do an Intercept. A Shield Bash. The attack right here. An Intercept on our back line. Get some more block. Preserve the energy. Because despite the fact that they hit heart, they can't hit me through it. Um, all right, let's do that. A little bit of fire blast here. Together with the lightning. Bit of a flare. There you go. It is interesting, though, because the game does have all these mechanics where cold resistance goes down. So it leads you to believe that you may want to focus the damage types. But if you do that, you are incredibly susceptible to just being blocked by units that are immune. There's a finite balance there one would have to find out. I think that's very important for the uh, the end game ultimately. I want to upgrade those two cards so they disappear for the rest of the game. Um, end our turn, yes. 
scorching. Ooh, not bad. That's a burn five. That's painful, honestly. Quite painful. As you can see, they had nine health, but we do 11 damage and they survived. Because they have armor, right? Like Much like us, we have defenses. They have defenses. So I had to take a look at what actually was important and which attack was going to do the most damage. Now I wasted energy. And that is just really bloody unfortunate. Okay, let's get some more energy here. Do call to arms. An intercept on our... What are you going to do? Lowest HP monster. Okay. Intercept on our mage. Just to be certain. Fire blast. Fire blast. Big flare. Big frost bolt. No, no big frost bolt. Okay. We'll add some over there. Ooh, nice little double regen here. As you can see, it didn't affect the, uh, the enemy this time. Okay, let's just heal. End our turn. Cauterizing. Nine burn on himself. An interesting decision. So yeah, he's uh, very dead at the moment. That's okay. Um, yeah, there's nothing we don't have to worry about. I suppose it is important to get the kills anyway, because like I said earlier, the fire, the poison, the bleed all have different priorities. So always kill if you can. If there's no uh, sacrifices you have to make to make that happen. Mm. Pummel is not bad. Repair armor is free if you upgrade it. Which is not a terrible thing. So let's do that. Um, yeah, this is stealth into stealth. I don't have stealth. Mana shield is not bad for a defensive for a defensive card for sure. I want to get the Holy Smite upgrade. That's going to be awesome. But I already have Holy Smite. I just need the upgrades. Okay, let's go here. Oh boy. Obelisk Corruption. Grimoire of Flames. Grand Inspire. Shuffle two fireballs in their target's deck. Cost zero and vanish. <gasps> two fireballs? Just straight up fireballs? And they cost nothing? Look at that. Look at that damage. Hmm. Then again, being able to remove a card, also pretty good. Now, I kind of want to get the Grimoire. I haven't gotten that one yet. I want to unlock it. Let's get heavy. And let's get hot. Um, You are also new. I don't think I've seen you before. Ah, oh, you're a fire caster. Got it. That's okay. Good damage. As you can see, they're actually more susceptible to damage due to... uh vulnerability there they're gonna die due to the poison unfortunately the poison is after their move so the question is do we want to take nine damage in a 30 hit burn I don't i don't think i want to so i'm just gonna slice and dice here and then do another one uh, i think i have enough to tank i have faith i lacked faith it happens to the best of us. Random hero. Oh, so you can keep summoning imps, of course. Yes. That's okay. We can deal with that. Once we ramp, we are going to be okay. There you go. The healer took out the imp, which gives us time to burn down... Piggy boy. Possibly. Um, let's apply the poison. Let's apply the bleeds. Good hits. Alright. Apply the vulnerability. Bonk. Oof. I do want to use... I think this is better to use right now because it also gives me... Well, it's 10... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's 15. Yeah, actually, it does matter. I have to do this just to be certain. Also gives me block. Never know when that comes in handy. Um, do a zap. Charge battery. Burn them. Okay. Elemental ward right here, just to be sure. Because we are going to get Flamestorm here. Okay. 
Um, no, there's nothing we can do. We're just going to do some damage as much as we can. 16, 14. Dispel fire. Insulate. Evasion prevents a hit. Very unfortunate. Still applies to poison, though. So be wary of that. You're not immune. No matter what layer of defense you use. Pretty clean. I was hoping uh, it was going to go well. It did. Not too shabby. Another shield bash. Sure, let's take it. Song of Quickness, but it requires stanza. It's more like for the bard character. There's also a pass that can give you stanza too, but yeah. Anyway, choose that. Scroll of speed. Prismatic. I'm sure that some of these cards are like really good, but I haven't really... I haven't really experimented much with them. That's just a free damage card, really. So let's just take that. If we have a good hand. Five or lower, four or... Oh, sorry, five or higher, four or lower. Let's do four or lower. I have a lot of free cards, right? There you go. Success. Ooh, another one. Let fate decide who will drink it. Unidentified potion. Let me drink it. Nom, nom, nom. Heat surge on draw. When you drink the potion, you notice your body warming up. After a brief moment, you feel a surge of energy within you and your body temperature drops again. So on draw, I get another card back. I dispel all fire effects and I gain an energy and an insulate too. Insulate, uh, insulate too. It's not bad. There's like a lot of effects like that, which are quite lovely. This, however, only affects him. There are ones that affect everybody. Like uh, I think it's well fed, for example. It's a really nice one. Poison darts. Hmm, I wouldn't mind poison darts on our poison character, but we have to give up spyglass. We can't change it. We also have charge plus one combat start, six combat start, three here. So yeah, we'll give you the damage buff. So as you can see, more opening damage, not bad. We're just going to sacrifice that item here. We'll give you the additional charges for this later. I have a plan. Ah, that's the same ring, isn't it? It is. I guess we'll just give him a helm. Always important to wear your helmet. Group six or higher. No, we'll just strike. There's no way we're going to draw a six. The chances of that are so small. I'd rather just fight. And not have to potentially take a negative effect on my face. Of all the places where I don't want negative effects, my face is definitely one of them. There you go. We got the, uh, the buff from the card. Nice. Infinite armor. Let's give you some repair armor here. Let's spread the love. Since our block doesn't disappear, we can just stack it. And it won't really necessarily be wasted, right? Alright. Firebrand. Burning javelin. I feel like the cards the enemy has are so much more interesting and fun. Don't you just hate that when the enemy has all the cool stuff and you certainly don't? I can't be the only one who despises that. One down. Three to go. And still got an energy left. The mage has so much potential oomph. Mm. Ah, summon imp. Frustrating. Not much we can do about that, because we have to simply carve our way through. I could try to focus her, but I'm not going to be able to kill her in time anyway. And some of my characters cannot target her, so I would have to spread my damage out. And I'd much rather focus fire. AoE is very important as a result of, like, positioning and such. So if that's your cup of tea, know that it will be poured frequently and well. Okay, we'll do that. Carve through it. Save the energy. Eight burn. Painful. Ow. Yeah, those burning marks... They are powerful and painful. Okay, that's interesting. They burn themselves and then they cleanse the burn with the other card. Kind of cool. I like how they have better synergies than I do. That doesn't make me feel depressed at all. Ah. Let's just get the burn going. If only I had one more energy. Do that card first. Get rid of all the burns. Very useful we have that card. So we upgraded it. Very happy about that. Let's get a heal going. And a buff. 
to defenses. Another imp shows up. Another burn. Many burns handle it. Okay. Now burning does happen before they go. So that is very lovely. Hmm. Um, so we have burn five. Okay. 18, 16. Oh. We're getting there. Ow. Eight burn. Calm down. We have to do this to get past it. Intercept. All right. Two mages left to go. Sadly, most of our high damage right now is fire stuff, and they are cleansing or using that to empower themselves, which is quite frustrating. As we have to deal with... Oh, ow. Where's my grimoire? Didn't I get a grimoire earlier? Where is it? I think I've deserved to use it now. They're starting to hurt a little. Oh, I should have used my mark. Ah, too late now. I just apply the bleed. Okay. Very good. Sadly, we don't have enough for a double shield bash. That would have been very lovely. Ah, speaking of the Grimoire. There you are. There we go. Apply some insulation. Divine Grace, get rid of the burn. Nuke you. Buff you. Lovely. Alright, we're, we're almost there. More fire. Damn. Fire Ember. Imp, yep. Now, we know that they are going to die. So that's very good. So we can kill the imp now. One hit that. And then we have all our damage in the world. To nuke the one last in the back. Who unfortunately evaded. Because I forgot to check their buffs. But that's okay. Very good. If I had done it the other way around, they would have been dead, and I would have pre preserved this damage. Oh, ow. I would not have taken that damage either, which would have been very lovely. Get a heal going. And flash them. Very good. Very painful. Very, very painful. Ray of Hope. Ooh, barbed wire. All heroes, plus one. How does it look upgraded? Ah, you can just keep using it and all heroes become two. That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to take that. Um, let's do this. Heat wave is a global. Dispel all monsters. Apply. Okay. All right. Living flame. Deal five. Apply. Oh, and I can actually r jump as well. That's super good. I like that. Let's take that. Ray of hope. Dispel. Grand courageous. Heal for 12. Let's take that too. Seems like a powerful spell. Uh, five or lower. I feel like that's the case. Five or lower feels good. That is five or lower. Success. Very lovely. Mm. Do I do a repair? Four or higher. Come on. Four or higher. That's four or higher. Which allows us to uh, actually spend some of our crystals to get some upgrades. Now, I can't upgrade special cards, sadly. But we can upgrade, for example, Living Flame, the card we just got. Ooh, I could go for a third jump at a 50% chance. Or I could just take more damage. Or do more damage. All right, let's, let's go with uh, the Gamba. I like the Gamba. Uh, that's fine. Let's just do that. Kind of want to see if I can grab some burns here. Let's really crank up the power of our mage all right and then we can start one of our events right here 
which then gives us access to find a way to repair the golem. You can find new core in the Black Forge in Valkarath, which, you know, it tells you which area to go to. You also can level up, which is very nice. You get 10 max HP. Oh, we're going to go tank here. Um, maneuverous card draw. Wild Hunt is uh, debuffing. Evelyn. Uh, I like Elemental Proliferation, which is very, very good. Uh, and then, of course, we have also Divine Retribution, which is not terrible. Or Focus Heal. We can definitely use some healing, I think. All right. So I'm going to cut the video here because we're running a little long here, 45 minutes in at this point. So this is a wonderful game you should check out. It's on Steam, released out of early access. Not a shammy thing at all. Now, actually, can I resign? I think I can, but I want to keep running around because I kind of want to play this game perhaps more on stream. All right, the last obelisk. You can find it on Steam, as I was saying. Hope you enjoyed some gameplay. Check it out for yourself if you are curious, if you do know some good combos that I should perhaps be abusing or effectively using. Do let me know below the stream. And I will see you guys well, either in the stream um, or in the Discord. Have a good night. Take care of yourselves. And I'm out.